So in this very tutorial, which is part 20, I'm going to show you how to integrate index 1 into our application. And then, so this index 2, which is what we have, not looking good. And this is index 1. We are going to integrate, integrate index 1. And instead of having something like this, we are going to have something like this. So we, are, we need something like this instead of having something like this. Now, this is what we have in the previous class. And we had a model that displays a pop-up. Now, this model, if I click to display it one more time, it doesn't work. It's broken. The reason is because there is some compatibility issue between admin LTE template and ng bootstrap. NG Bootstrap means Angular Powered Bootstrap, which we actually use to add some components to an Angular UI application. Right now, we are going to be using Angular Material. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate Angular Material and use Angular Material to create our page and also use Angular Material to display this dialog, this model dialog component here. So there are two steps. One, we are going to add admin LTE uh, this time index one, which is this white, this page, and not this two, this one. This is what we added before, which is black, and changing it is kind of dicey. So it's better we simply add this page, and that is what we are going to do. And then we are going to use Angular Material, which is excellent working with Angular. It's better using Angular Material, at least from my experience, than using Angular Powered Bootstrap. So let's go ahead to get started. Now, the step-by-step -step on integrating this LTE, admin LTE page is right here in my website. So, I'm going to follow it quickly and do it. I already explained to you how to do it in the setup stages. So, it's exactly the same thing. But in this case, instead of using the admin LTE tool, simply use the admin LTE one, which is actually this index tool right here in the folder you have index tool. Okay, so let's get started. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below to subscribe. In that case, you don't miss any update from me. And also, if you have any challenges whatsoever following my classes, please leave me a comment in the comment box below this video and connect me on my social network profile, be it LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram. I'll be there to support you. So let's go ahead to get started right now. So what I normally do, I'm going to first close this. I'm going to go to this um, this page. This is where we are working currently. And I'm going to place the step-by-step, -step, which is the step-by-step. -step. The link to the step-by-step -step is right there in the description of this video. So I'm going to place it side-by-side -side with this page. And go, I'm going to simply follow the steps. So I'm going to do it off camera and then we continue. So right now I've completed setting up the our page, our the index one of admin LTE template. So if I go back to the page now and refresh, it's, it's okay now. And if I go to slash countries, slash countries, you see it's also okay as well. Now there is no pop-up for now, but we are gonna fix that. Now if you look at this place, you see that this is not exactly how it is. If you look at the, the actual um, page, you see that we have this uh, little, little icons here, but we don't have it here. So this is a problem from Font Awesome, all right? So I will try to install Font Awesome. If I go to the step-by-step -step in my web page, you see that I think I should have a place, um, a way, the procedure to install Font Awesome. Okay, so let's just use npm install Font Awesome and let's see if it works. npm install Font Awesome. So let me just stop this and it installed. So if I go back to the page and just uh, refresh the page, there's, there's a page, refresh. Okay, now I need to start the application using ng -self. okay. Okay, so if I go back to refresh the page now, we should be able to see it working, but unfortunately it didn't work. So let me worry about this later on. Um, maybe at your own time, try to figure it out. Let's now do creating a pop-up. Now to create a pop-up, I have this page uh, from Angular Material version 6 to create a pop-up. But before we do that, we are going to install Angular Material in our system, in our application. So it's going to be ng add, ang uh, ng add at angular um, slash material. 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, this should be it. Andy at, at angular slash material. Uh, I'm gonna just say yes. Everything should be. So after adding angular material, we are now going to um, follow the procedure. So let me close everything now. I'm gonna... So let's open the country component. So the country com component HTML and the country component TS. So these are the two places we are going to be working. We have this open uh, dialog box we ad actually added here before now. So we are going to simply remove it. So we have this. I'm going to uh, in this place. I'm going to remove it because we want now use we want to use Angular Material instead of our ng Bootstrap, which is Angular enabled Bootstrap. So I'm going to come here as well and remove this. Everything about uh, ng Bootstrap, I'm going to simply remove, and I'm going to remove this line as well. Oh, sorry. Is going to be here. Okay, so this is fine. And the next thing I want to do now, we can now follow the procedure from here. Not from here, but let's see. It should be from here. So if I go to API, uh, we have this import. No, no, not this. Let's see, let me just make sure. I think the best thing is to just look at the start blitz, yeah, which is here. So if I go to app module, uh, I see a whole lot of things. I don't want to confuse anything. Um, so it's going to be import math dialog module, which is this one. Later, as we go, we are going to use other modules, but for now, we are going to worry about this uh, math dialog module here. So I'm going to my I'm going to my app module. I'm going to my app module, and I'm going to come to import and import math dialog module I think this should be it oh sorry we need to install angular material first so I'm going to say npm install um, at angular uh, material Okay, so I've imported math dialog, math dialog module and also added it to the import section of my uh, of the app module. And then the next thing we want to do um, from the procedure, let's see, uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go to the app component and we need to copy the template. That's the template of what is going to actually display in the model. And let's see, it's going to be. Um, let's see. Um, so it's going to be this my dialog. So it's going to be this dialog one. Okay. So I'm going to copy this template from here, and I'm going to use it in my application. So I'm going to the country component here. I'm going all the way down. I'm going to delete this template we already have and I'm going to simply paste this one okay so the name of this template is my dialog and from the next instruction we are going to add a button uh, which is actually this button right here so I'm going to simply copy this and I'm going to add this tile to the button so the button is actually this one so I'm going to simply add and I'm going to remove this color so that it doesn't become so verbose. Type is equal to both in, maybe that's okay. And yeah, so open dialog with template, template ref. We need to copy that code as well. So I'm going to go back to the start list. And this time I'm going to the TS file and I'm going to copy. It's going to be, um, it's going to be this one. All right, so it's going to be this one. So I'm going to copy it and simply uh, use it. I'll go to country component and simply, let me see. Uh, simply use it. So it's simply a function. I'm going to simply paste it here. And we are going to add the, um, we are going to add the dialog, this math dialog as well. So I'm going to create a, 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 a private type of math dialog. So I'm going to my constructor here. I'm going to say private uh, public because I'm using it in the HTML. 
dialog is going to be mat dialog. So why do we have this temp template right? Okay. Okay, so so far so good. So let's go and test it to see if everything works and the model displays and that'll be great. So I'm going to simply save everything and I'm going to use ng serve to serve up the application and let's actually see if this dialog displays. If it displays then we know that we can continue working with Angular material because there are a whole lot of components we can use outside uh, the dialog or the model. So the application starts up and let's see. So I'm going here and I'm going to go to countries and that is fine. So I'm going to, no, not you, new country and you can see our dialogue is working perfectly well. So Angular Material is set up completely perfectly well in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are now going to create a form to actually fill up some country details and actually submit. So this we are going to be doing in the next tutorial, which is going to be part 21. As I used to say, I would like to recommend you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any updates from me. Connect with me on Instagram, on, on Facebook, or LinkedIn, or GitHub. You can find this, find this application on GitHub. And also feel free to, to subscribe if you've not. And also leave me a comment to let me know if you have any challenges whatsoever. And you can be sure that I'm going to be there to support you. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.